Today we'll explain Wireless Master and Root APs. Follow along to understand their unique roles when deploying wireless networks for Cisco business on this edition of Tech Talks. Next. This demonstration will focus on just a specific set of AP models that are master capable. Their primary function is serving as the direct wired uplink that bridges wireless traffic to the main network, as well as electing a single master AP to control all wireless functions. The set of master capable APs consist of the following models, the CBW140AC, the CBW240AC, and the CBW145AC. During the startup of the wireless network, negotiation happens automatically and promotes the best master AP amongst the master capable APs. This is accomplished via an election algorithm. We can find additional details on the master AP election negotiation in the Administration Guide for Cisco Business Access Points. In a wireless mesh deployment, the wired APs that aren't promoted to master APs are called root APs. They play an important role when an unexpected or scheduled outage disables the master AP. The root APs are still master capable and will elect and promote the new master AP to take over the control of the wireless mesh network. It's important to note that mesh extenders can be added to the overall network at any point. They can be used to provide wireless services where no network ports are available in the area. The mesh deployment designation reminds us that the hardware topology, wireless deployment, and wireless functionality all depend on the actual configuration set at day zero. Regardless of the deployment, it's important to remember that there can only be one master AP at any time on the network. And that's wireless master and root APs in a nutshell. Thank you for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.